You gotta tell my vlog, hey. Yeah. Hey y'all. Mm. Oh, from Just like a little crop top and biker shorts. Yeah. Uh, Y'all, I haven't worked out in about two weeks. Look at my belly. But I still look like a snack though. Oh, I look so cute. I look so cute. Yep. So let's go eat some of this. Um, Indian food from last night. Let's go. Okay, so y'all, so I'm in the kitchen because like I told y'all, it's it's been a while since I came on camera, so excuse me. Okay, so I'm finna finally eat something. Some wait my food from last night. But this time I'm gonna do it a little different because Yesterday I did not eat any of really eat any of the rice with it. Damn, y'all can't even see me. Hold on. But see, let me see. Let's see. Is that okay? Okay, we're just gonna leave right there. So last night I didn't get a chance to actually um put the sauce over the rice that I made myself. So so y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all, this shit was pricey. It was like $37 for this. It, it was expensive and it didn't even come with rice, which is crazy to me. So I'm just gonna use the container. I ate the veggies, samosas, I think that's what it's called. I ate that last night. So I'm just gonna put my rice in here and I'm gonna put the sauce on top of it, the butter chicken on top because I want to try it with the rice. I didn't get a chance to try it with the rice. And, uh, hold on. Last night, I got so full off that drink, which was so good. It was a, a mango lasso. Los, I might be pronouncing it wrong, so don't quote me. But have my, uh, y'all can't even see my rice. Yeah, there go my rice. And I'm going to put some of this sauce over it. Ooh. No chicken went in there. <laughs> no chicken at all, honey. Let's put some of this chicken in there. Cause what the fuck? Okay. But I feel like the sauce on its own is 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 really good. But I definitely want to put some of the chicken in there. And I got the bread, but I'm probably gonna warm that up last only because I don't want to make the bread hard pretty much so yeah so this is what it's looking like oh y'all can't even see this some hater ass shit what is what is going on okay first my makeup was hating on me now the camera won't even there we go oh that looks so fucking good so i'm about to warm this up child okay let's let's put this in the back But yeah, so it is Saturday, which y'all been up to. Y'all see my rice cooker. <laughs> That's what I cook my rice in. Sure, sure the fuck they at. My makeup looks so cute. I haven't did my makeup in weeks. I haven't done it in weeks. I need to 
I need to edit the vlog from Dallas. So I'm pretty sure y'all gonna see that before this. I'm sure. Hold on. This looks so good. Let me show y'all. Let me zoom y'all in, honey, cause this look good. Come on, baby, get in. Get on my bed now. This shit looks so freaking good, bro. Like, I'm finna fuck this up. <laughs> I ain't even allowed for the fuck this up. I'm gonna just stir this up. This is this is gonna be so freaking good, bro. I got my my nun. I think that's what it's called, nun. I think. So let's try it. I might need to wait for it to cool down a little bit, cause. I might be eating it wrong too, so. Cause you know, um, different cultures, they have a way of eating their dishes. And if I'm not doing it right, I, um, just let me know, okay? I'm just gonna say. Of course. Dr. Pepper. Oh, hold on. Let me do it right. Dr. Pepper. <laughs> I'm stupid. Woo. Woo. So, y'all eat my food and. Eat my food, then I'm gonna come back and talk to y'all. What's up y'all? So I am sitting here looking at old vlogs that I filmed um, a while, in 2010. I'm professional as hell to me because she is on it. This is the box. This is her, oh shit, I'm wasting shit. This is her logo. Um, this is So I have like so many vlogs, well so much vlog footage on my laptop and I've been deleting it but I really, um, I found some videos from 2019 that I was watching and it really made me emotional because you know my mom passed away in 2018. And I started to record myself um, probably like shy of like a couple months before her year um, anniversary of passing. And y'all, I have come so far. Like, I just, it just made me feel so emotional right now because it's like, I was so fucked up, y'all. Like, I'm not 100% healed, and I do feel like losing a parent is, is really not something that you get over. But I have come so far, and I literally have grown so much in this year of me living and being 100% independent. I've grown so much, y'all. Like, and I'm so proud of myself watching these videos really is 
it's just crazy to me how much I've grown as a person the things that I thought I liked and the things that I thought I wanted to spend the rest of my life doing it was just a way of keeping myself busy just so that I didn't think about basically a distraction because I went to cosmetology school I had a press on nail business I'm no longer interested in neither one of the two like I don't want to make press on nails for anybody else the only person that I well the only reason I would make nails is either for me or for like if I want to give someone some press on nails or you know what I'm saying but I don't that's not something that I want to do like I have so much materials and products and things of that nature in my nail area which I love my nail area so I don't plan on ever getting rid of it because once again I like to do my own nails I like to make my own personal nails and stuff like that at times so I am not gonna get rid of my equipment because I still like doing it. I just don't want to I just don't want to serve the public and that's just I feel like cosmetology school ruined that for me like I don't want to do hair I wanted to be a natural hairstylist a loctician I don't want to I don't want to service the public ever again I don't and I'm fine with it I'm 100% okay with it Will I never create press on nails again to sell? I'm not saying that I won't, but at this moment right now, that's not something that I want to do. No, I don't want to service the public. After the pandemic, like people are just, people are unreal. And I'm not going to stress myself about trying to please everyone. So. I don't want to service the public. <laughs> I know I had to say it like six times, but I do not want to service the public, and I mean that. I mean that 100%. I don't. So, my cosmetology career that I worked so hard to, uh, to, I guess I literally have been working on having my cosmetology uh, license for years and I don't want to do it when I left cosmetology school I didn't want to do hair anymore they ruined it for me and I'm okay with it I'm really okay with it like I'm content with it like I don't feel like I wasted my time none of that because I really thought that's something I wanted to do for the rest of my life. But it wasn't. It's okay to reinvent yourself. Like it's 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 nothing wrong with reinventing yourself. Like right now, I'm in a a, a, a space where I really I don't wanna do anything. I really just want to work on my mental and um getting grief properly and with no distractions as far as like stopping me from allowing myself to grieve i don't want to do that anymore and i feel like me living on my own and actually uh having to deal with my own shit and my own problems has helped me understand that the way that i was living yeah, it might have looked good on camera or on paper, but I was drowning. Like, I looked at a video from like right after my mom passed and I was so lost. Like, I didn't know if I was going up or down. I was lost. And though I do at times still feel like I don't know what the fuck, this is the best mentally I have felt all my life. Like I've literally have been being happy go lucky. It not being real with myself. 
and not allowing myself to have bad days or to not feel my best. Always feeling like I have to put on a front to uh, so that other people don't feel how I'm feeling or to ruin someone's day. Shunning myself, not feeling important, not uh, uh, being able to trust people. I'm over that. I'm over it. Me working on me mentally and allowing myself to grieve and to allow myself to have emotions and feelings and not to be okay and not to always try to act as if I got my shit together. I'm living in that. Like, I'm not ashamed to be human and for forever i felt like my feelings didn't matter or that the way i feel nobody cares like but now i don't care i i, I honestly only care about how i feel when it comes to me and if someone does not want to listen to me or understand what i'm going through what i'm what i'm growing through I'm not going to be apologetic about that and I'm not in the business of trying to make people care about what I'm going through or what I'm growing through. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like I'm just in a, a, a state where I I don't want to do I don't want to do anything that I don't want to do. I don't want to put on a front. I don't want to pretend like I'm okay all the time. I don't want to do none of that ever again. And it took me being on my own to realize that I've literally have created this person that is just unreal. I'm human. I'm human. And I should act as such. Stop always trying to appease to other people because maybe they're going through something and I want to be there for them. But who's there for me? So, you know, I'm over being this unrealistic, robotic ass bitch. I'm over that. I'm over it. And I'm okay with that. Like, I'm not upset or anything like that. It's just looking back at those videos really made, made me understand that I have grown so much. And I'm just so happy that I did because what the fuck was I doing? Like, why? Like, why? Like, I really need to go to therapy because why? Like, why? I don't understand. Like, I get it, but I don't understand. I, I'm just so happy that I've grown so much. Like, I really needed this for me to realize, girl, why? Like, what the fuck is you, like, what is you doing? You're living your life, and it seems like you're not happy, but on social media, you look so happy. You look like you're not going through anything. Ooh, my own gets tired. But, yeah, I'm good, though. You know, this is just a real moment. I am so happy that I am not that person. I'm not a people pleaser. I, that shit is like, the fact that I was a people pleaser, that pisses me off so much. It makes me so mad that I ever was a people pleaser. Because girl, what the fuck? Like where, like, why? Cause I don't care, no, I don't care, no more, at all. I'm not here to please nobody but me. And that's why I've been to myself. I haven't been dating. I haven't really been communicating with people. Like I've literally have been to myself. And of course, you know, I talk to my friends here and there. Everybody grown, we all have our own lives. So it's, it's not, like I'm intentionally not talking to anyone. It's just that I'm not trying to meet anybody new, no new friends, no no new uh, love interests or anything like that. I'm I'm 
I'm cool on that. I am working on me. And that's the only thing I have room for right now. That's that's all I have room for. And it ain't no shade or no hate to nobody. I'm working on me. And that's all I have room for in my life. At this moment, like, I've realized so many things in this year. Like, I have realized so many, like, I don't even know if I want to get married. I don't even know if I want to have kids anymore. Like, I've real being alone, living in my own shit, not crowding my mind with other people's shit has really got me to thinking. Yeah. And I'm okay with it, you know? I don't feel no type of way about it. Like, yes, of course I still have my moments because I'm still I'm grieving. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm I'm grieving. And some days, most days are better than others. But when I do have my moment, I allow myself to have that. I used to wouldn't even allow myself that. So I've grown. It used to be a time period where I would be so ashamed to cry. I would feel so weak and just, but now, if I'ma cry, I'ma cry. I don't care that bad. And it's just real, like, I am working on channeling my emotions, my feelings, things that I've put on the back burner for all my life. I'm literally dealing with that shit now. And it's overwhelming, 100%. Like, I be so fucking drained. But it's so worth it because I want to be in a better mental space. I want to be in a better place. Mentally, physically, emotionally, like spiritually. And the only way that I can do that, I have to work on me. And I'm cool with it. I'm good with that. I'm good with being, even if it means I have to be alone. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Not saying I want to be alone forever, but right now, in order for me to ever have an opportunity to be a mom or a wife or whatever the fuck the future has for me, I have to be whole. I have to be whole for me. If I ever want to manifest anything like that into my life, I have to be whole for me because I don't want to go into anything just full of hatred and 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 um, not able to um, understand pe other people's feelings and emotions and stuff like that because I like that so yeah yeah I'm in my season of being alone and bettering myself and that's cool I'm okay with that I hope y'all okay with that too but yeah I know a lot but I just had to share it you know what I'm saying? And I can look back on this just like these videos a year later or two and see how far I've grown because it's only up from here. Like, literally. Oh. Like, uh, uh. Okay. So, yeah. I'm a. I'm a. I'm talking to y'all tomorrow. I'm good. Makeup still look good. Uh. You know, yeah. I'm talking to y'all tomorrow. Okay, so I finally was able to get all the footage exported to my laptop so that I can edit. Hold on, let me point y'all off real quick. So that I can edit the Dallas vlog. So yeah, hopefully this vlog is not stupid long. But yeah, y'all. Well, y'all will see this before. But yeah, 